Oh, I killed them all. Okay, perfect. Let's go back to the main area. Fight a little bit more. We already grabbed the loot from here as well, which is a good thing. It's interesting that it just lets other people into your... into your zone. I wonder if it lets them into the boss zones as well. Like, if we can fight bosses without being one-on-one, -on -one, because I think I would prefer not to do that. More than controller is definitely a must-have. Oh, supposedly. But I'm enjoying playing it with pe with a mouse and keyboard, actually. It, it definitely takes more manual dexterity, like switching back and forth, but... I really don't mind. But yes, I agree that people would normally say that. That is what I've heard most people say. But the controls really are, I mean, very doable. Even if I, even if I was on a uh, controller right now, it would be really rough. Just because I suck and I don't have the muscle, the muscle memory in place to actually <clears throat> perform a lot of the moves and switches that I'm supposed to be doing. So far, the only, the only difference, the only thing that actually I think would be easier on controller is parrying. Because you drag your mouse in a specific direction while you're fighting, and if you move your mouse, this honor DLC is so close! I know, I know. I'm so excited. We are gonna play the hell out of that game. And it's not even a DLC max. I was reading and they said it's like a full-size 10 to 12 hour game. Just a, a bit shorter than the, uh, than the previous two games. Which is amazing. All right, so this is, this should be. I think this is where the boss is. Or the boss that was right next to us, supposedly. Unless he's the boss, the guy we were talking to. Which is, again, very possible. Okay, so he just broke my guard right there. And actually did quite a bit of damage. What was that? A tear... A tear or tear chain belt? I'm gonna say chain tear. Within an hour and a half then? Yeah, pretty much, probably. <laughs> I... <laughs> I agree. Oh, let's, act, let's check that uh, tear chain belt. May seem brutal in other regions of the world, but in the tear, wearing chains around one's waist is elegant and refined. Oh, how nice. Okay, cool. Oh, this is that same guy, or a different guy, or somebody. Ah, this is the dude who picked me to become a prospect. And that's in the marker over there. Let's talk to this guy. I will have to learn more attacks. You will have to learn more attacks if you want to survive. If an unknown attack hits your guard, you will start learning it. Yep. We know. If you use your combat style's ability against that attack, you will learn it even faster. Ah, okay, so if we parry it, we get we gain a lot of increased. Uh, but if you are defeated or flee combat, you will lose all this experience. Victory is the only path to acquiring knowledge. Gotcha. Okay, that's cool. We really need to start blocking more. Ooh, okay, so that, that was a, that was a block break, I think. Ooh. 
So we keep trying to parry, and it's so precise that we are getting run over in the situation where we actually try and parry, so... I think we're going to keep trying to do that, even though it means we're getting beaten down by NPCs that actually suck. Let's check this area over here. I wonder if we meditate here if we'll heal. Doesn't look like it. Oh, we do. Okay, perfect. Nice. Now we know. That was weird. Looks like there's not a lot of, uh, oh. Who the hell are you? The mocked gate is down this path. It knows your deeds and cannot be cheated. This looks like the guy who picked us. Find your marks and defeat them, otherwise the gate will remain shut. Okay. Oh wait, okay. Oh, huh, there's no way to skip through this text, which is kind of annoying. Got it. <laughs> what is this? Just randomly dropped armbands. Okay. Maybe someone else defeated this guy? Oh, these are way better than the other ones I have. Nice. I know, I'm so excited. I was, I was, I was um, reading some stuff about the, about the Dishonored um, game slash DLC that's coming out, and they said that there's an entirely new, like, set of power systems. Like, you don't upgrade in the way you would have earlier. Because... Billy doesn't draw her power from the outsider directly, she draws her power from the void. Which also means that instead of having to use potions to upgrade your stamina, you just automatically regen it. Which is gonna be pretty cool. Wow, it is really hard to parry. Okay, so we, we actually just parried that, which is pretty good. Mana regeneration sucks. Even less beautiful kills because of a stupid cooldown. Oh, oops. I think this guy wants to fight me. So I don't think we can hold on to this. I don't know, but I'm sure, like Max, I'm sure there's, a, you have the ability to increase your mana gen regeneration, right? So it, you might not even have to ever have a, like a extremely long cooldown, right? Or even a cooldown in general, right? There may be a way to refill your mana bar without the regen stat outside of potions. It's just an interesting thing that they've added in because of a specific lore piece, which I find kind of interesting. Because Billy hates the outsider, right? So I don't think she, so she doesn't want to draw power from him, which makes sense. You could immediately refill it with potions. Yeah, you couldn't you in Dishonored 2 as well? I don't remember.
I'm gonna check my combat deck real quick with the sword. We only have two moves currently. It's kind of interesting. I couldn't because the higher the difficulty, the slower mana refill from potions. Gotcha. I gotcha. That makes sense. There's all these just random items just sitting around. Is that from people coming in here and killing the NPCs? Yes, it is. That is what they're doing. See, this is kind of annoying. I don't like the fact that I can't battle all the NPCs myself. That people are going to come through here and just kill everybody. I like that they can randomly connect to the game session. I don't like that they can abuse, like they can come through and kill the people that I otherwise would want to be killing, if that makes sense. So there is a boss right here. I think it's kind of cool, kind of like a like a dishonored system, right? I mean, not dishonored, a uh, Dark Souls system, where you can battle other people or co-op with other people if you want to. But I would prefer that they were battling their own individual set of NPCs. I wonder if I can port back to the main area through here. Doesn't look like I can. Shit. So these... These will re reduce my movement speed. Just a bit. I'm gonna wear them. That seems kind of cool. They look kind of cool as well. However, if I wanted to, I could duel them. I'm gonna try and duel this guy. Oh, I can't. Maybe I need to be higher level. We're both so bad. Ah! <laughs> okay. Wait, no, I wanted to revive him. Damn it! It's no, it's not because in Dark Souls, red phantoms invade your world and not just spawn out of thin air. Yeah, yeah, no, I know. I understand. I understand how it works in Dark Souls. I'm just saying it's, like, similar, in a way. And a neat mechanic in some instances. And Dark Souls' level system is far better. I got you. I kind of like this. I, I never really liked the Dark Souls' level system, and I kind of like this one better. But I do, I do think that their invasion system is probably better. Because this is not really an invasion system, right? You, you immediately revive them if you kill them. It's like a... It's like a, um polite duel system which is fun and interesting but annoying when you're in story mode right i have no idea where we are oh i do know where we are okay so there should be a boss right above us. Possibly? Like right up here? No? Hmm. It's a bit annoying that I still haven't found any of the bosses. But I guess that's probably the point. And I haven't progressed into an area very far at all yet either. Oh, we got a new level point. Let's go ahead and use it. Oh, 
Oh yeah, it's really fun to be under leveled because a five man team raids the whole damn area. You mean in in this like where we currently are at? Yeah, like like I keep saying, I think that the 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 problem in my opinion is that they allow your like people that are coming into your game to kill your NPCs. Other than that, like I think the leveling system's fine. I think the combat is exceptional. I think that the NPC AI is really cool and interesting. The only thing that I think is weird and kind of annoying is that when people do come into areas, they kill your own NPCs. Which you would otherwise be using to level up. But I'm sure they limit it pretty severely because there's like, I don't know, like 5,000 people playing the game right now or something like that. So it's probably only like three to five people are allowed in your area at once. How do we... Shit, I forgot how to... Access our deck. Oh, there it is. Okay, that's, that's out. Oh, let's do Endurance up again. This should be where we came from. But is there... Oh, okay, this is it. This is the area I've, I've been looking for. Yep, looks like it. That is really pretty. Really pretty. This is not the area I've been looking for, because I cannot get up this. That's annoying. So I guess we can only come down from there. That's super confusing. Maybe it's to block you from getting to an area before you go experience this up here. All right, right, left, or up? We've already been up, so let's let's just go left and let's let's check everything out. Me, Dark Soul system is far better because I don't have to worry about five people who might player killers right behind every corner yeah like I said that's the only thing that's weird about it um, I think I think everything about the system is fine except well I guess, I guess that's true as well if they want to player kill people a bunch of people could team up co-op and then just come in and kill them I'm sure they have some system in place though for pre like preventing you from having that actually actually happen because it's not it's supposed to be a lot better than for honor which is basically what happened in for honor right where they would basically just go around smashing all the noobs yeah i do think the invasion system is a bit weird because it's not it's not an invasion it's like a peaceful combat kind of deal where you're supposed to revive the other people It's not peaceful if you gain XP from it. Oh, I agree, but it's peaceful because you like, like ha have the incentive and option to revive people. Because you can revive them, fight them again, and gain more XP, right? Elite scout plates. For me to kill anyone. Yeah, but like r directly afterwards, if you revive them, you gain more XP. So there's, there's a huge incentive for you to revive people. Oh, we have another attribute point. Oh, no, endurance as well. So we should have just gotten... An 
and some more equipment. Yeah, I don't, I don't mind taking on a little extra weight, honestly. Oh, there's an NPC. What is she... That was confusing. So these guys don't want to fight for some reason. Maybe they just respawned, maybe that's why. kind of lame. XP, I guess. It's fine. Now see, that is kind of annoying. The fact that they won't won't fight when they just respawn. Killing all those people who don't want to fight. Yeah, or maybe they actually just don't want to fight. Okay, so can I challenge these guys? Doesn't look like it. So I think these guys are co oping This might be a bug somehow. Because these are supposed to be enemies that fight you. Oh, maybe not. Maybe they are supposed to run from you. I don't know. I'm going to kill them anyway. Oh no! Shit! Get back here, you fool! Yeah, they must be they must be supposed to run from us here. <laughs> well <laughs> I am a monster, Max, you're right. I'm a horrible person.